Hi everyone, so today I'll be going through another interview answer question. Today's going to be a process question and I'm going to be covering a question that I got in my interviews a few years ago. Um, I'm first going to be talking about the answer I gave straight through and then I want to go through why I did those things and how you might deal with a similar problem if you were faced with it. So the question I have to deal with is this. Now they're asking for a distance. So what I went through was this. I started with what I know. So I know a very simple formula, speed equals distance over time. So if I wanna work out this here, I need to think about how I can get to these two things here. So I was thinking, okay, um, I don't know about um, anything apart from traveling by plane, having gone on commercial planes before and traveled. So if I know that the flight time, and I knew at the time was seven hours, having traveled there before, then uh, that one's set. Now, speed of the plane, this is where I had to think about it a little bit more. So I'm thinking when you are traveling on a plane, there's kind of three parts. There's the part where you're taking off, then there's the actual flight, kind of like the actual traveling part itself, and then you've got landing. I want to consider takeoff and landing pretty much the same in terms of speed, is that it needs to speed up to a certain uh, uh, speed and then also it needs to decelerate down to when you're landing. And then this flight time, I'm pretty much just going to say is constant. So this flight time, knowing that commercial planes, usually their cruising speed is around 800 kilometers uh, per hour. Again, if you've traveled by plane, if you don't know this information, this is the kind of thing that I would just ask for and say, I need this information. Any chance you can give this to me? They might not say yes. They might say, okay, well, have you thought about how far a car travels? How much faster do you think a plane uh, would be traveling? Um, because you might know, let's say like London to Manchester or something. Um, at the same time with this um, time thing as well, they might ask, uh, suggest that you look at a different city or a different place that you know, and then roughly knowing sort of map distances and things. So maybe not a direct answer given to you, but certainly something to help if you ask for a hint. Um, and then this takeoff and landing is the other part I want to deal with. Now with takeoff and landing, I just want to use a really simple SUVAT and then just say that we start at a zero Obviously, we're starting from stopped and we need to reach this speed of 800 kilometers per hour. Um, and then we can use this equation to find roughly how uh, long that particular distance would be. So all I now need to find is the time that we're spending taking off and landing. So just for like ease of calculation, um, I maybe want to say something like 10 minutes each. Um, it could be a slightly longer, but I think that's a reasonable estimate to make. So if I know that this T here is going to be 20 minutes, then I know that distance that they're covering from um, just this uh, portion here is going to be roughly, okay, um, roughly, should we say like about 130-ish kilometers. Um, obviously that's not precise. If they want it more precise, you can just ask them and see if that's what they want. So anyway, I figured out takeoff and landing is taking me 130 kilometers. Now I need to work out this for the middle portion. So the remaining six hours and 20 minutes, I'm basically saying is traveling at a speed of 800 kilometers per hour. So I'll just multiply that through. 800 by six is 4,800 plus the additional 20 minutes Again, I'd probably just go for an estimate roughly and just say it's about, um, what would it be about? Maybe 270 kilometers roughly. So a total kind of cruising time of about 5,070 kilometers. And then finally, I'll just add that on to the uh, takeoff and landing time I found before. And so my final estimate for how long the distance is from New York to London for me is going to be 5,200 kilometers. So let's break down what the steps were here. So first of all, I started off with a really simple formula, something that you should know from GCSE. Um, I then, so use your knowledge first from the classroom. So you're just applying an unfamiliar situation to knowledge that you should have. You're not really expected to know beyond that. Um, the second part was basically breaking down the problem into manageable steps. You could have just said, right, the whole distance um, at 800 kilometers an hour, but then that might show that you haven't thought it through as well. And then obviously your answer would not be as accurate either. Um, so this is obviously not, in, uh, not precise, but because I broke it down into these two steps, it gets closer to the actual goal. 
Um, the next thing, again, another formula that you should be very familiar with from GCSE. And then just combining all of those elements, working it through bit by bit. Anything you didn't know, as I said, uh, like this bit of information, like this bit of information, you can just ask for or ask for a hint or use similar proxies to kind of figure out what you could use in place of those things. So that is the first of the process questions. If you haven't given the other two a go, maybe you could go back and try it using a couple of the methods I've shown you here today. And I'll be posting the answer to those two very shortly.